Hi everyone, my name is Miss Nina and today we are going to make some DIY dog toys. Um, our summer theme is Tails and Tails. I thought it'd be a great idea to make some DIY dog toys and then possibly donate them to your local animal shelter or play with your own pet at home. So all you need for this craft is a t-shirt and some scissors. If you have fabric scissors, that would be uh, ideal. But if not, regular scissors will work. It just takes a little bit more effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to braid. There's ones where you can do weaving, um, but I think braiding is just a little bit easier to show you, especially since I can't angle the camera in a way that you can see uh, what I'm doing on the table and I just have to hold it up every time. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to cut the t-shirts into about um, six strips. So just start at the bottom of your t-shirt and cut about uh, a half an inch, I mean, not a half an inch, cut about an inch strips. Now this process will take a long time if you don't have fabric scissors. I do not have fabric scissors with me today. So um, we're just going to fast forward through this video um, and I'll show you what the strips like look like um, when I'm done cutting. So when you cut three of these, they should have a loop. They should be like three loops. So if we just cut the ends of the loops, you'll have six uh, strands that you'll need. So let's just cut the ends here. So you'll have six strands once you cut all of them and you're just going to pull on them to make them a little bit more stretched out. Okay, so when you do that, they should roll up a little bit better and be a little bit stretchier. So we want them all in a line. And then about a third of the way down, you want to either tie like a piece of string or a rubber band. So I'm gonna tie them right here. using a rubber band to mark it. Okay, so I have the rubber band there. I have all the rest of it. And now you're just going to simply braid the pieces very tightly together, um, as tight as you can do it. Um, Okay, so we measured like another good chunk, you braid it, um, maybe a third or so. And we're going to tie this piece so there's like a little handle. So let's undo this rubber band that we had on there or your string or whatever you use to tie. And we're going to tie this handle so it doesn't come undone. Just like so. Okay, so then you're going to spread these out, have even sets, and braid the rest of your thing. Now my things aren't exactly even, so we're gonna do the best that we can here. Um, so just spread them out. You have two, three, two, three. And you're gonna just make a very thick braid. So my t-shirt that I cut up was a little uh, tie-dye, so I have a little bit of color to mine, or you can use different strips from different t-shirts and have yours a little bit more colorful. Okay. 
So I'm gonna pull mine out a little bit because I'm near the end and we're going to make a giant knot so that this doesn't come undone. depending what yours looks like. You can trim the bottom if you want or whatnot. We can now take this rubber band off. So now you have a little grip hold there. You have the braid and you have the giant knot and you can snip it at the end um, to make it look a little better. So this is what our finished product looks like. I'm not gonna trim up mine um, but yeah, that is your DIY dog tour using an old t-shirt and some scissors. Fabric scissors are best if you have them. If not, you can use normal scissors, but it's going to be a little bit harder and tougher to get through your t-shirt with normal scissors. Um, so now you have a dog toy to play with your dog, or you can donate them to a shelter. And, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.